What's up guys, Squints here. So this is the sixth tutorial in my little tutorial series. And today um, I'm going to be showing you something that I recently found out actually. I was reading over it today on the Adobe website. And um, it's just something that I've never really seen on YouTube before. And I thought I'd share it with you guys. Um, it's not something really that I, I would personally use. Because um, it's kind of adding um, filters to um, pictures. Um, kind of like manually and doing it yourself so I'll show you guys and see what you think so um, you just want to install it first so it's called pixel blender um, you just want to google it or I'll leave the download um, well I'll leave this page link in the description and you can download it free for Windows and Mac right here now down the side here there are um, little kind of tutorials and things like that but um, I'm going to be showing you guys what I found out so um, which was mainly by reading them actually so I um, just want to open it so if you're not really sure how to open it and um, you want to go to your applications utilities um, Adobe utilities there are actually instructions if you click part one um, there are um, short links um, where you um, find that where you find it once you've installed it so um, once you're in Adobe Utilities you just want to open up Pixel Blender and then just click the application and it should open like so so um, first we're just gonna stick an image in here so you just want to go to file load image and um, it comes up with sample image, um, images that they already give you so we're just going to use the yellow flower like they do on the um, little tutorials on the website I just want to cl um, click create a new kernel, I think, um, and we're just going to, uh, that'll be fine, and just hit OK. And like so, and as you can see, you have some code here, and um, the line of the code and things like that. So, um, um, the basic thing that I've recently found out is, if you um, come to this line here, which is line 15, hit enter, and it'll go on another line, and you just want to type in, dst dot b well we'll do b for now and then plus equals space 0 0.5 and then semicolon um, now this b is actually how many um, well it's the color blue um, so the three primary colors are blue green and red I believe so if you do R or G or B, they all work. So um, once you've typed in that, you just want to hit build and run. And as you can see, it's added um, quite a dark blue tint. Now, if you want to lighten that a bit, maybe change it to 0.2 and hit run. And as you can see, it goes lighter and lighter. We'll put it on 0.9 and see what that looks like. Yeah, it's really blue. So as, as like I said, change the B to G and hit run and... Um, build and run and as you can see it does that now um, there are actually further kind of little um, tutorials they walk you through on how to add different kinds of um, filters and things like that effects now um, it's not something that I would actually personally use but um, I thought I'd share it with you guys something else to like widen your knowledge It's also a bit of coding involved as well so um, once you've done that and if you actually want to save the image so maybe um, I do that and it looks quite nice. Um, wait, I believe if you hit and if you um, copy and paste that and put it on a new line and maybe put in another one, maybe it will work with two. Yeah, it does. So um, you can mess around with this and um, see what you can kind of um, get together. So once you're happy with it and if you want to save it, just go to File and save image as and you can just save it as a normal PNG um, wherever you want and you've done it so I um, hope you enjoyed it guys I just wanted to share that with you um, kind of broaden your knowledge and things like that so tip Tuesday will be as usual on Tuesday um, and I'll speak to you later have a nice day